Duolingo stock is up 198% year to date with investors excited about the future of ticker D-U-O-L. Not only languages, they are branching into music and math courses and their finances are quite surprising. Stick around as I investigate the green bird stock. The free Entrendias.com Entrendias terminal provides you simple buy and sell signals on your favorite stocks, cryptos, forex. We see the Entrendias terminal outpacing the stock from 2021 to today. DUOL is up 57%. However, Entrendias is up 207% on this stock. Entrendia's terminal also provides machine learning price forecasting with the help of linear regression and GARC models. The forecast is the average of the two, foreseeing sideways pricing for the stock in the next 90 days. I see stellar growth in revenue from 73 million to 137 million, resulting in greater gross profits. Duolingo became net income positive back in the summer of this year, resulting in a positive stock price action. With the balance sheet, I'm seeing great mainline items where total cash and short-term investments are up 26%. Even with liabilities rising, DUOL has more than enough immediate cash on hand to cover current liabilities. A company with cash can also benefit from current market high yields. Duolingo became free cash flow positive back in quarter 2, 2022, first sign of a growth stock turning around. We see this free cash flow growth from 19 million to 36 million or up 95%. With all these good line items, we're seeing all three return ratios increasing with return on equity becoming positive in quarter three of this year. One day I would love to see this ROE grow to 15 to 20 percent. Let's look at key operation metrics. Duolingo's monthly active users grew 47 percent in a year, while daily users increased 63 percent most Duolingo users use the free ad-supported version, while 5.8 million subscribe to Duolingo. Very strong performance. Subscription revenue grew 47% in a year to 105 million, which is their main source of revenue. Super Duolingo costs $7.99 according to PC Magazine. Advertising grew 10% to 11 million. Duolingo also offers a certified English test, which is accepted by over 4,500 universities and institutions, plus it's something for job seekers to add on their resumes. This revenue segment grew 30% at $10 million. Surprisingly, their fastest growing revenue segment is in-app sales of virtual goods, 86%, giving off some meta vibes. Um, at 9 million. App downloads have grown exponentially but recently stalled from 2021 to 2022. As the Motley Fool notes, following an initial period of popularity, getting new users on board while maintaining old ones become an uphill challenge for educational services. Even with stalling downloads, we see monthly active users grow 47%, so still very impressive. Duolingo is at a significant premium compared to competing educational services. However, it is important to note that these are not perfect comparisons, as Duolingo started off as a language education service unlike Chegg or Pearson. Across the board, DUOL is at a premium, Enterprise value to revenue is 12 times, EV to EBITDA is 60 times, PE ratio is 76 times, market cap to free cash flow is at 51 times. Duolingo's price to free cash flow was at an all time high of 565, followed by a 34% correction in the stock in 2022. The P to FCF ratio 
sits at 240 today. A lower price to free cash flow can indicate that the stock is undervalued. After earnings, we did see DUOL stock surge 30%. After a well-deserved surge in the stock price, we can see short-term degradation in price as the hype falls out and we see some correction. Harsh macroeconomic trends could be coming in the near future, tightening consumer budgets. Check out the macroeconomic trends covered in my SoFi stock video in the top right or description. A tighter economy resulting in tighter consumer budgets could lead to a decline in subscriptions, uh, originations, and losing current subscribers in efforts to save money especially when the demographics of Duolingo users are mainly 18 to 24 years old. The market cap of the stock increased 142% since March of 2022, but the free cash flow grew 91%. Much of the free cash flow growth occurred prior to the last two quarters. Much of the free cash flow growth occurred in March 2022 to March 2023. The free cash flow growth, however, between quarter three and quarter two 2023 was only 1.5%, but this is when we experienced a 50% surge in the stock price. There will be some downward turbulence for the stock in the short term as a correction seems needed. Duolingo broke through multiple levels of support in orange. But now we see the stock price well above the upper standard deviation of the EMA 128 line. Using the law of averages, we would expect to see the stock return back to the EMA 128 line prior to any further upside. Please hit the like and subscribe if you enjoyed this coverage on Duolingo, ticker DUOL. The financials look super solid, however the price valuation is quite high and I see some short term downside along with unfavorable macroeconomic metrics that won't favor subscription based services. Check out the free and trendiest website for the free algorithm along with blogs and forums. Thank you for watching and using Entrendias and I'll see you guys in the next one.